Hey guys, it's Julia and welcome back to my channel and for today's video I'm going to be talking about some of my recent reads. I have only like five here to share um, and then also what I've been currently reading and then what I want to read next. Uh, so yeah, let's jump right into it. First up here we have Flower Crowns and Fearsome Things. This is by Amanda Lovelace. Amanda Lovelace writes like really meaningful poetry and this one is actually also full of illustrations and poems. I was sent this by Andrews McMill Publishing so thank you so much. I absolutely love Amanda Lovelace's work and I've read most like I think all of what she's put out as of now but her books usually deal with some like hard topics so this one has trigger warnings for like abuse, sexual assault, cheating, child abuse, trauma, death, uh, body image eating disorders, alcohol, stuff like that so this one's like a, a more heavy one but I found that I have connected with her other poetry collections much more and those ones had more of a overarching story while this one didn't feel like it had that overarching story as much so it wasn't it wasn't my favorite but it's still like it wasn't bad by any means i'm still gonna pick up everything she writes this one was just like a three star for me oh my favorite would be the witch doesn't burn in this one and the princess saves herself in this one like the og ones those are my favorite but this one was still really good so i really appreciate being sent it um, i always have a great time reading poetry regardless <laughs> next up here we have two graphic novels i don't own either of these physically but i own the first book so i'm just going to show you that one uh this is an arc for it but it's uh raven t titans i read this one i read a while ago but i read beast boy the second one and then the third one is raven and beast boy um beast boy i didn't the story was interesting, but not my favorite. It was still really interesting though. I just connected with Raven more, uh, but I really like the art style in these graphic novels. It's beautiful, stunning. And I really liked the romance and the connection that Raven and Beast Boy had in the third volume. So yeah, if you're a fan of Beast Boy, I would recommend it, but like this one and Raven and Beast Boy were both four star reads for me and just the Beast Boy one was a three star for me <laughs> but I'm really enjoying this this series and they're coming out with a new one that's on Robin so I'm interested to read that one too. Next up here I have a graphic novel called Delicates so this one's really really cute it's the second in a series and the first well the first and the second one follows this ghost um, who's like a laundry sheet and he's just hanging out trying to make friends like trying to fit in and it, it's adorable I, I love Wendell the ghost, a cutie pie, love him. This one uh, dealt with some more serious issues than I was expecting, considering it's middle grade, it dealt with a, a lot of bullying and suicide, which was, I thought, really good to see in a middle grade, but also something that was like a graphic novel and something that was kind, like you think would be a bit more lighthearted, but it had some like good points in it as well for middle grade, which was amazing. But I could, I could really sympathize with Wendell, I really liked the art style, and it was overall a good read. I don't think you have to read the first one to like actually understand the second one. Um, I think they could stand alone too, but the first one is also good. It's called Sheets, so Sheets and then Delicates, <laughs> um, but they're really, really cute and uh, I like them. I gave that one three stars. Next up here we have Winter Roses After Fall by R.H. Sin. So this one is another R.H. Sin poetry collection. I've read most of his as well, but I will continue to read them as they come out. and. This one was released this year, I think, and it would had it was more about loss and breakups. That's what this one I feel like mostly highlighted. Um, like there was obviously like poems that were like a wide range of things, but I felt like the center point was like loss, love, breakups. So I read that. I did like it. Um, it wasn't my favorite out of them. I think half of it was written in prose um, and like paragraphs and prose, and then the other half was poetry, which I think. His poetry is phenomenal like I like just reading his poetry <laughs> not that I wasn't interested in the prose but like it didn't hit the same so I don't know I, I really really do like R.H. Sin's work though so if you're looking for like simplistic poetry that's like very meaningful or if you need some like encouragement or even some like if you're going through something like a breakup or you're going through a hard time I find reading his stuff so like <laughs> grounding in a way like um just for someone to say exactly almost exactly how I'm feeling is like a really cool feeling so that's why I also really like reading his work. Overall it wasn't my favorite by R.H. Sin but I gave it a three out of five stars. So those were the five things that I have read recently. I'll talk to you guys about my current reads right now. <laughs> so the book that I'm currently reading is Billy Summers. So this one we are reading in my good not good reads my <laughs> discord server so I'm gonna have that link down below. You have to react to a specific role and then you'll have access to like the book club channel and 
so far people are saying it's pretty slow but i'm i'm also not that far into it i've been super swamped uh, so I will probably take longer than like the month that I gave it to read just because there's a lot going on and I think a lot of other people are going to take a little bit longer too, which is perfectly okay. Um, so yeah, even past like the, the November 25th end date, I think we're still going to have like a discussion about the book in there regardless. So if you're interested in that, let like feel free to join. And I'm also, when I finish this, I'm going to be doing a review for you guys as well for Billy Summers. Um, I'm already making notes, but I'm not that far into it. <laughs> Next I have Pan's Labyrinth. I've been reading this one for a little bit now. Um, it's based on the movie Pan's Labyrinth and it's really beautiful. It has like little illustrations throughout it and stuff and there's like a border on every page. It's nice. Um, I need to get back to reading this. I kind of just put it aside and I need to pick it back up. Um, I think I'm, I'm a little bit ways into it but like not, not a lot. I'm on page 68 so that's not too bad. So we'll We'll keep reading this one. The books that I got recently that I'm really excited to get to is I Must Betray You by Ruta Sepetti. This is an arc. Um, thank you so much to Penguin for sending this over to me. I was so, so happy to receive it. Basically, I love Ruta Sepetti's. This book comes out in February, 2022. Um, which makes me really excited, but I love Salt of the Sea by Ruta Sepetti's. She writes like, I didn't really think I was into historical fiction until I read something by her. And it just, it hits different. It hits different. And her writing is very lyrical and beautiful. So I'm really excited about this one. And it came with like a little card as well, but it says this, it's a work of historical fiction. The, there's a word that I don't want to butcher. This dictatorship and the extended suffering of countless Romanians was hauntingly real, yet remains unfamiliar to many. So like, usually like, even with Salt to the Sea, she got kind of like a, something that wasn't like super well known to people, like a tragedy that happened, but she, you know, got more recognition for it and like taught so many people about it. So I assume this is going to be like a similar situation here. When history lies hidden in the shadows, those connected to the history often feel misunderstood. But together as readers, we have an opportunity to shine light into darker corners of the past to learn, grow, and honor the brave souls who experienced it. This is the power of books. So that's, that's wholesome as fuck. So yeah, I'm I'm, to I'm really excited to read it. I need to read her other book too, her recent one. And then uh, I was feeling down one night and my mom treated me to Censor by Junjo Ito. I have no idea what it's about and I don't care. I want to go into this totally blind. Uh, that's what I did with the other Junjo Ito book that I read and I loved it. So I'm gonna read this. It's a cute little hardcover. Oh, and the, hold on. So this and then Isn't that cool? I think it looks really cool. So I'm excited to read this and let you guys know my thoughts. I hope it will be a favorite because like uh, a Dissolving Cla Classroom is like one of my favorite mangas now um, by him. So I'm excited to read this one too. So there you guys have it. Those were the books that I've read recently, the books that I'm currently reading and some books that I'm gonna be reading soon, hopefully. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. Um, I hope you enjoyed. If you would like to see more content from me, I stream three days a week on Twitch. If you'd like to check me out there or hang out and play games, I'll have my Discord down below and my other social medias. But thank you so much for your support. And yeah, I love you guys very much. So have a good day.